Tenth question. An artificial satellite is moving in a circular orbit of radius 42,250 km. Calculate its speed if it takes 24 hours to revolve around the earth. So we have to find out its speed and what data they have given that orbit of radius. So it is in the circular motion. It is in the circular motion and what they have given is radius. They have given the radius and radius we have is 42,250 km radius they have given. And we have to find out the speed. That what will be the speed if it takes 24 hours. So time they have given is 24 hours. Now here the distance they have given in the kilometer and speed they have given in the hour. So we can find out the speed in kilometer per hour. And they have not specified here that find out the speed in meter per second or kilometer per hour. So we can find out the speed in kilometer per hour. So we do not need to convert anything over here. We will use them as it is. First thing we have to find out the distance because we need to find out distance to find out the speed. So how to find out the distance? Because this path is circular. Whenever the path is circular, we are finding out distance with the circumference of the circle. And that is through 2 pi r. So let us find out the distance with 2 pi r formula. So 2 into 22 by 7. And then we will multiply the radius. Radius is this. That is 42,250. When we will solve this, we will get here 2,65,330 km. So this much will be the distance. This will be the distance when the satellite is moving around this circular orbit. So this much distance it is covering in this much time. In 24 hours it is covering this much distance. Now we will find out the speed. That speed equals to distance divided by time. So distance we know that distance is 2,65,330 km. And time what they have given is 24 hour. So when we will divide this two. That this distance and this time we will get speed in kilometer per hour. And that is 11055.41 kilometer per hour. So that is going to be the speed of satellite. This speed we got it from distance divided by time. And distance we got it from here. That they have given us a radius and this is a circular path. So we got this distance from 2 pi r because every time whenever it is a circular motion we have to take the circumference of the circle to find out the distance we have to take circumference of the circle and that is how we found out the distance here.